Hi everyone, welcome to Vocal Academy. See in this problem, here a circuit was given here and asking that how to find voltages V1 and V2 here at these nodes. So by applying node analysis at node 1. So let's consider this is node 1 and this is node 2. So at node 1, the sum of all currents, so this 6 amperes and the current was in 2 ohms and the current was in 5 ohms and current was in 10 ohms at node 1 is equal to 0. So write that into the math equation as 6 amperes plus now the current in 2 ohms is in this branch which was exists from V1 to V2 that is V1 minus V2 by 2. So according to Ohm's law we know that V equal to IR so from that we will get current I equal to V by R. So here we are getting the current, this is the current, so voltage by resistance, resistance is 2 ohms. Next the current in 5 ohms, so V1, lower voltage is 0, that is V1 by 5, next current in 10 ohms, that is V1 by 10, that is equal to 0 here. So here the current was outgoing that's why remaining don't have current sources. So sum of all currents will be equal to 0. Now simplify it by taking LCM. LCM is 10. So 10 6 is 60 plus next to 5 zero means 5 V1 minus 5 V2 plus now 5 2 zero. So 2 V1 plus now 10 ones nothing but V1 that's equal to 0. So from this we we'll get by bringing 10 to the right hand side it becomes 0. So 60 is equal to so bring this complete term which was in V1 and V2 to the right hand side that becomes minus 5V1 plus 5V2 minus 2V1 so this is completely 3V1 so take as minus 3V1 so it becomes minus 5 1 minus 3 1 nothing but minus 8 v 1 plus 5 v 2 that's equal to 60. Let us consider this equation 1. So I am going to write here. So equation 1 is 60 equal to minus 8 v 1 plus 5 v 2. This is equation 1. Now apply same node analysis at node 2. Now observe carefully here at node 2, 6 amperes was entering, 3 amperes was entering and current from 2 ohms is entering and from here leaving to ground that is 4 ohms. That means sum of all these 3 currents is equal to current in 4 ohms. Now according to Ohm's law we know that V equal to IR. So I is nothing but V by R. So apply same rule. So 6 amperes plus 3 amperes next current in 2 ohms is V1 minus V2 by 2 that's equal to current in 4 ohms nothing but so upper voltage is V2 lower voltage is 0 so V2 minus 0 nothing but V2 by 4 now simplify it LCM is 2 it becomes so this is 9 9 to 0 18 plus V1 minus V2 that's equal to V2 by 4 2 1s 2 2s now class multiply it becomes 36 plus 2v1 minus 2v2 that's equal to v2 so from this we we'll get 36 equal to minus 2v1 plus 3v2 let cancel this is equation 2 so that is 36 equal to we got minus 2v1 plus 3 V2. This is equation 2. Now by solving these two equations we will get V1 V2 value because we want V1 V2 values. Now how to simplify it. Here keep equation 1 as it is. So that is 60 equal to minus 8 V1 plus 5 V2. Make second equation V1 coefficient as minus 8. So for that multiply with 4 on both sides for second equation. 
that is 636 into 4 that's equal to 4 into minus 2 then but minus 8 v1 plus 4 into 3 12 v2 now apply minus comes plus it becomes minus so it becomes 60 minus here 36 into 4 is there nothing but 144 that's equal to here minus 8 1 plus 8 v1 cancel next 5 v2 minus 12 v2 nothing but minus 7 v2 60 minus 144 nothing but minus 84 that's equal to minus 7 v2 so minus 7 minus 8 cancel so 7 1 7 2 volts so v2 we got 12 volts Now substitute V2 value in equation 2. Then we get V1 value. So that is 36 equal to minus 2 V1 plus 3 into V2 is 12. So from this we get 36 equal to minus 2 V1 plus 36. So bring this time it becomes, it becomes 0. 0 equal to minus 2 V1. So V1 equal to 0. So V1 equal to 0 volts and V2 equal to 12 volts. So these are the two required values for the given problem. And this is the process of simplification. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share. Thanks.